Association. One of the things you're starting to hear from supporters of Mitt Romney and others, most recently James Bopp, the General Counsel of the National Right to Life Committee, is that you can't win. You don't have the organization, you don't have the money, and they're spreading the word now that a vote for Mike Huckabee is actually a vote for Rudy Giuliani. Well, Rudy must love this, but look, let's, let's face it, all through the last 11 months, you know, every month somebody comes out and writes my political obituary. I, I wish they'd at least given me a birth announcement before they <laughs> write the obituary. But through the process, George, they've said, well, if you don't have $20 million in the third quarter, you're not competitive. Uh, that was Mitt Romney who said that. Mitt Romney didn't raise $20 million in the third quarter. Maybe he should drop out. I've been amazed at all the people who set certain criteria and said that I wouldn't get to where I ended up being. Now I'm leading in Iowa. I'm third place in New Hampshire. Rasmussen yesterday has me second place nationally. I'm second in Florida, second in Texas. And you know what? I'm not supposed to be here. So it's kind of like the old story of the bumblebee. Uh, by the aeronautical design of the bumblebee, the wingspan and the circumference of the bumblebee's body, it's scientifically impossible for the bumblebee to fly. But the bumblebee being unaware of these scientific facts, flies anyway and makes honey and pollinates the other plants. <laughs> I'm glad I've never heard a presidential candidate compare themselves to a bumblebee before, but I'll take your point. Let me, let me follow up on, on, on Mayor Giuliani. He faced a tough story this week in Politico.com where they suggested that he had been hiding the expenses for a security detail when, they went, when he was uh, visiting uh, his, his then-girlfriend, now-wife, uh, Judith Nathan, when he was mayor uh, of New York. He said in the debate the other night that this was perfectly appropriate. Do you accept that? I do for this reason. I'm not going to defend what he was doing, where he was going, because I don't know. But I can tell you this, and every other person who's ever been a governor or a mayor understands if you have a security detail, they make decisions about how they handle that. I thought it was a cheap shot at Rudy. Uh, there's no point in trying to dig through what his security detail did. Unless they can specifically say that he personally ordered something, then I know how it works in the uh, security detail of a governor. Governors don't specifically say, okay, here's how I want you to budget that. Governors pretty much just take care of their business, and the security detail manages the manner in which they handle the security. And I thought it's a little bit uh, of a stretch to go after Rudy for how uh, his security detail accounted for their processes. So 